Hey guys, Ashley with Techno Buffalo here. We are giving our first impressions on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, a highly anticipated phone, 5.7 inch screen, uh, lots of things to talk about. So stay tuned after the jump. All right, everybody, here it is, the Galaxy Note 3. We've been talking about it, we've unboxed it, and now we get to do a hands-on. So let's talk a little bit about this device. Uh, the one thing that I will say as a non-Note user is that I'm gonna grab the pen here. I really like that it's universal. I like that you can put the pen back in the phone either way. Um, I said in the hands-on, I don't like how flush this button is and I stick to that. I think it's still just not quite there. I wish it was just a little bit more tactile or at least raised just slightly off of the pen surface, but it isn't. Um, getting into Air Command, I think that there's some really great features attached to the S Pen. I definitely like Action Memo and having that sort of contextual ability to go to a website or call a phone number from your notes, your handwritten notes, is really, really cool. Uh, Scrapbooker, I think, is a really good idea in theory. Um, it's very Evernote-esque, but I haven't used the phone for long enough to really decide if that's something that I'm willing to use long term or if I want to stick with Evernote. Um, and just leave it at that. So uh, it's sort of a big deal for me to kind of migrate everything from Evernote over. Um, so I don't know that I would use this in the long term unless I was really going all in on this scrapbooker feature on the Note 3. Uh, as for screen write, uh, I don't tend to do that very often. So I don't, I don't think that I will be writing on my screen very often. Uh, if you guys do that, more power to you, just not something that I'm interested in. S Finder is really great, especially if you've tagged a lot of stuff in Scrapbooker. Um, this obviously becomes way more useful the more you use the phone. So the more contacts you have, the more emails you have, the more you know scrapbook uh, things that you've put into the phone and the more that you've tagged things, you're gonna be able to find more things in S Finder. So um, definitely one of those situations where uh, the more you use the phone, the better S Finder will get. Uh, and lastly, pen window. I actually thought I wouldn't use this. Out of all the features in Air Command, I thought pen window was the one I would use the least. Surprisingly, I actually find myself using that more often um, and putting in, uh, I really like being able to do, um, I really like being able to open this and actually bring up either Hangouts uh, for my chat, so it's nice to have that sort of little chat window there, or bringing up the internet if I'm doing something else like looking at my calendar. Um, so it, it is very, very handy and honestly a little bit of a surprise for me that I was able to use that. Uh, one of the other things that I really love about, uh, about the Note 3 is the ability to multitask in your window. So um, this, this sort of second window feature is just fantastic. Multi-window is a really, really excellent feature. Um, so if we grab messages, we can drag it down here. And now we have messages. And if I had something that I wanted to, uh, to grab, I could copy that. I could even, you know, I could select it, copy it, and I could just paste it immediately right in here. So I copy, that says already exists. Um, so if I tap to compose a message, all I have to do is just long press, paste, and there it is. So um, really, really easy to use. I definitely like that feature. Um, I like the fact that it sort of expands itself when you're using it and then it puts it right back down here. I love obviously that you can resize everything. Um, so multi-window, a really, really great feature on the Note 3, especially with the S Pen, um, you do feel that sort of sense of productivity. Uh, one of the things that obviously we've covered a lot of things in just a couple of minutes, um, it's really overwhelming. If you've never used a Note before, uh, having access to all these features can be very overwhelming. And uh, Brandon and I here at the office were joking around that you almost feel like you need a semester long class to understand every single feature that you could possibly find on this phone. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just there is so much going on. You've got knocks if you want to protect uh, if you want to have a secondary either enterprise or personal account that you want a little more protected, you can use Knox. You have S Health, you've got Pen Up, you've got S Translator, you've got Samsung Apps, a Samsung Hub, Scrapbook, Story Album. I mean, there are so many things. So if you have not lived in the Samsung ecosystem before, this can all be very overwhelming for somebody. Um, However, I will say I do like the addition of this help uh, glossary, sort of nice little encyclopedia to your phone. Um, you can look at the icon glossary. It will help you check out all those notification icons. 
There are, of course, uh, the new features section, which is the most important and definitely actually even helped me in certain situations. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure how to use EasyChart um, to do you know, pie charts and put them in S note pages. So a lot of things in here that are just extremely um, not buried, but just granular. And so and a lot of features that you might not even be aware are on your new note. Uh, so the help section, certainly, certainly handy if, you, uh, if you're not used to either A, having a smartphone before, because a lot of people buy these and it's their very first smartphone. So we're still seeing people get into smartphones for the first time. And this can be very overwhelming for somebody with all of the options it has. And that's on top of what Android already offers, um, which is a very, very granular and customizable experience. I love the screen size. I think the screen is beautiful. I think that a 1080p screen, uh, while I wasn't a, you know, I was a little bit of a skeptic before, why do you need a, you know, 1080p screen on a, such a small uh, device? I do love it now and I do love how smooth all of the text looks. Um, and, it, and I really think that the device itself is really interesting. So anybody looking for a Note 3, I think uh, would be very well served. I don't, I don't think that anybody is gonna tell you, oh, this is a terrible phone. Um, but I definitely think that it's not for everybody. It can be a little bit overwhelming, especially with the addition of the S Pen and all of its features. Um, if you want something a little more simple or something, you know, without just without the pen, obviously the Galaxy S4 is a great choice if you like TouchWiz and you like being in that Samsung family of devices. Uh, but that's our first impressions. Uh, that's what we think of the device after having it for a few days. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments. I'd be happy to help answer them. And we're gonna be doing a full review on this beautiful beauty, uh, this beautiful beauty uh, sometime soon. Hopefully John uh, is enjoying the phone. And we also have Todd Hazelton uh, with the device. So we've got a lot of people using this here at the office and we're really excited to talk about it. But until next time, I'm Ashley Esqueda and we'll see you in the next video, thanks. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.